Shalom, all praise the Abba, Shemuel Shah. The Lord is the Apostle GMS. This is Amnav Allah coming at you with the video. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on this um, article that I, I ran into through the Spirit earlier today. It says, um, it's from the Sun, Sun News Site of the Year. The Sun News Site of the Year. It says, um, Megamind, Google Brain Implants could mean end of school as anyone will be able to learn anything instantly. See that? A Google Brain Implant. Check that out. An expert believes that within the next 20 years, our heads will be boosted with special implants so you won't need to memorize anything. This man is truly the devil. That right there is, um, that right there is, um, like spiritual power on the left hand side. Because you have to remember, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to know all things. Esau, but we're going to know all things because the Most High is going to pour that spirit upon us for us to be able to know all these different things. Esau wants to implant things into your mind physically so that you can learn all things okay and that's what the Esau wants because Esau Esau um, deals with the left hand side Esau is carnal the most high is on the right hand side which is spiritual okay and that's gonna and that right there is gonna be like a ploy to um condition the minds of the masses into accepting a, um, a chip or RFID chip into their head oh I can learn anything I don't gotta go to school okay I'll take the chip they're going to actually start doing that. Google brain implants could mean the end of school. Could mean the end of school as anyone will be able to learn anything instantly, says an artificial intelligence expert. Nicholas Kyrinos, founder and CEO of Foundtech AI, says that technology could improve our lives and completely change how we learn. Which society has improved our lives. It has. You know, you got, like, for example, the invention of the wheel. You can ride a bicycle. You can be able to travel. You can be able to travel far distances and conserve your energy. You don't really gotta walk, you know. So it's faster form of faster mode of transportation. The harnessing of electricity. This those just examples of how technology has changed our lives. And technology has changed how we learn things. Like for example, we have a concordance now. We have a concordance. We can go into the concordance and look up anywhere we want to in the Bible. And find the exact scripture where the scripture is located. You know, you go on the internet, go to go to a Bible website, type in the word, and every scripture in the Bible that has that word will pop right up on the screen. So guess what? Technology has changed the way that we lived and has changed the way that we learned. That much is a fact. Let's continue reading. In an interview with the Daily Star, he explained that he has been working on a revolutionary AI to personal to personalize education to enable in anyone to enable anyone to enable anyone can learn almost anything using AI which AI stands for artificial intelligence and he believed, believes that within the next two decades our heads will be boosted with special implants so you won't need to memorize anything now let me get a scripture for that this is Psalms 10 and 7 this is talking about Esau it says his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud so Esau is doing this this is deceit but this is just another way of implanting a chip inside you which RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. In the secret places do it, he murder the innocent. So he murders the innocent in secret places, he does it in secret, out in the open. I mean, not out in the open. In other words, he does things secretly away from the public eye. That's why there's certain things that don't really get posted on the internet. Things regarding organ harvesting, how you got so-called Jake, so-called Negro, so-called black, Latino, Native American children that are filling up these, um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Filling up these orphanages. And they all in foster kids. They hide that from the media. Okay? Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Wickedness. And the reason why he hide, he does these things privately. The reason why he does these things in deceit is because he don't want the masses to um be aware of his um of his actions, of his true intentions. Verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places doeth he murder the innocent. I think I read that part already. He murders the innocent in secret places. Okay. You hear about all these black. You hear about all these black girls ended up dead. All these black males ended up dead. You know, he murders the people. Murders people in secret places. Abortion clinics. A lot of things that he does. He, he, the true intentions are hidden because he doesn't want really to alert anyone to his true um to his uh, true intentions. 
So even if you know that people are being killed, you don't know the true the true purpose of it. His eyes are privately set against the poor. So Esau's eyes are privately set against the poor, which the poor is talking about the children of Israel. He he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. So like a lion waits in his den, he lieth in wait to catch the poor. A lion waits in his den to catch a gazelle or a zebra or any one of its prey. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. A net is a trap. And as Esau does. And this RFID chip, this, this chip, the Google brain, this chip which doesn't supposed to allow you to be able to learn or memorize anything, is a net, is a trap to draw you in. And people are going to be drawn into it because they're ignorant. Which ignorant means a lack of knowledge. You're not aware that a person in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 14th chapter, that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. He croucheth and humbleth himself to the, that the poor may fall by the strong ones. So he croucheth and he humbleth, humbleth himself. He pretends to be humble. And the person crouches down, they're bowing down. He's doing that in an attempt to, see, to seem humble. That the poor may fall by, the, by his strong ones. The poor is talking about us because we're poor in materialism possessions. Yet at the same time we're rich in faith. May fall by his strong ones. The strong ones could represent military. The strong ones represent scientists. The strong ones could represent various inventors and um, uh, biologists. And things of that nature. Anyone that's taking part in Esau's New World Order agenda can be referenced to as a strong ones. And the fact that that we're strong ones. Atazawam. 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 It says mighty, vast, numerous, mighty, strong, in number, numerous, countless, powerful, uh, specific. specific Excuse me, excuse me. Powerful, specifically a poor, by implication, numerous, feeble, great, mighty, much strong. So what it's talking about is um, mighty or vast and numerous. That's the strong ones. So what does Esau have that's mighty, vast, and numerous? An army. He has large amounts of uh, politicians um, who would use out there to promote certain agendas. Lobbyists. That's used to get the politicians to promote certain agendas and so on and so forth. He has said in his heart that the Most High had forgotten, forgotten, he hideth his face, he would never see it. So he's saying the Most High had forgotten about the children of Israel and he would never see what it is that Esau is doing. He won't be aware. Arise, O Yahweh, Bashim, O Shah, O Power, lift, lift, lift up thy hand, forget not the humble, and the Most High is not going to forget the humble, and the humble to Mahu, the elect. This is back in the website, it says, He told the Daily Star. That people won't have to bother typing any questions as any inquiries will be answered immediately from an AI implant, which will result in the end of parrot fashion learning at schools. What's that parrot fashion? I guess it means like to repeat. Parrot fashion. If you learn or repeat a piece of text parrot fashion, you learn or repeat the exact words, usually without understanding them, saying again. So that's what para fashion means, para fashion learning is. And it says, the expert who um, who has racked up more than 20 years of working uh, with startups ads, Google will be in your head and that's not far-fetched. It'll be like having a really smart assistant that will almost think like you. Kyrinos believes that by using such AI, anyone between the ages of 8 and 80 will be able to learn almost anything at their own pace. He said that it will be personalized and improve over time. Uh, and improve over time so that the more tech so the so the more the tech gets to know you, the more it adapts its, its teaching style, its voice, the time of day it speaks to you, all to optimize learning. So this is a pitch. <laughs> this is a pitch that's used to catch you. That's, that it's a pitch that they expect people to catch. And that's what salesmen do. They pitch you certain products. Okay? They pitch you certain products. And they expect you to catch it or fall for the bait. So they're saying, oh, well, this chip can help you learn anything. And if only and only a fool is going to actually believe that and fall for it. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear destruction. Because this is all going back to the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Radio frequency identification found in the book of Revelation. 
You can read about it in the 13th and the 14th chapter. So that will close them. Say, oh, praise the Habashim Yashah, the Blancy, Apostle GMS, and whoever's going to something to sell along.